Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I have for you guys I'm going to be talking about a hot topic that is currently going around uh, right now uh, regarding some SBCs that you have been dropping and there's a lot of opinions on these so before we get into this video though, make sure you guys do subscribe I'd really appreciate that um, um, when you subscribe hit the little bell turn on post notifications because first person to comment on my most recent video gets a shout out in the next one so make sure when you subscribe to turn on notifications so you guys can earn yourself that shout out drop a like down below if you agree with what i'm saying and just comment down below your thoughts i want to hear all your guys opinions so make sure you let me know in the comments your thoughts and let's get straight into this video shout out to james caliker for being the first person to comment on my last video if you guys want that shout out Hit on the hit the notification bell and let's get into it. So, as you guys can see on the left side of the screen, re-release SBCs have been brought into FIFA 20 uh, for the end of the year. Uh, there's the flashback ones, the ones to watch ones, and the scream ones. Now, because of they only showed those logos, people only assumed that we were gonna get those like little like ones to watch, flashback, and obviously the scream SBC. So, if we go ahead and go to live. Um, head down here we started off where we got the uh flashback peace check yesterday now this card is actually very good um 83 pace 74 shooting 83 passing 83 dribbling 86 defending and 84 physical for a right back 86 rated um to get them it's two 83 rated squads with one of them requiring two team of the week players now he is like a, he's an outlier in this argument he's pretty close to his original price when he came out so people who did the flashback peace check originally when he came out aren't too mad about this because his price is honestly like pretty much the same so he's an outlier in this argument but if we continue to go down um we had the ones to watch promes one this guy's literally i already i did him because he's so cheap and i don't like i'm not even gonna use him it's just like if he gets upgraded whatever he was an 81 rated squad with one team of the week that costs like <laughs> like 18 to twenty thousand coins like it's dirt cheap so yeah he's very cheap he's a lot cheaper than when he originally came out um he ha he should have gotten more upgrades because at the start i think ea just didn't upgrade him because they thought the card would be too op so that's kind of stupid but i don't know he's only gotten one upgrade he's 84 80 he's an 81 with one team the week and it's very cheap but the people who completed this card originally the original SBC when this came out like two months ago or whatever, the the original um, requirements for the Promes were as followed. It was an 84 rated team, which is a lot more expensive than an 81 rated team with one team of the week. So, big difference. Then we've got Scream Chong, like, who cares, honestly, no offense if you're a Man U fan, this card sucks. <laughs> like, no one really cares about this. It's an 82 rated team right now. I'm pretty sure when it originally came out, it was either like an 83 or an 84. So it's not really big of a difference, and the card's awful anyway. So don't do him. Don't waste your coins. Unless you're a United fan and really want him because of the Afro. But this is the one I want to talk about. This is like the main point of the video. Is they released a... The, they re-released today um, with the Scream Chong um, the premium SBC Bastion Schweinsteiger. 88 rated um, There it is celebrate Bastion Schweinsteiger's legacy with a premium SBC version now if you don't know premium SBC versions are like the highest tier of SBC cards like they are the biggest upgrades uh, the Schweinsteiger if we go Into concepts real quick go to Schweinsteiger um, Here we go Bastion Schweinsteiger and we go to concepts like look how big the upgrade is man went from a 76 rated center back to an 88 rated center mid he went from 34 to pace to 71 pace uh 71 shooting to 84 shooting 79 passing to 90 passing 72 dribbling to 85 dribbling 74 defending to 82 defending and 73 physical to 86 physical so the the upgrade is immense and when this card originally came out he was around 250,000 coins now at that point in the game that was a lot of people found that was good value and they completed the card he doesn't have the greatest links but he's a very very good card now if we take a look at look take a look at his re-release SBC right now which is again 
if I look when this SBC came out, Bastion Schweinsteiger SBC came out two months ago. That's not even that long ago. Like, <laughs> it's pretty much January. So we could say this came out November, uh, like October, November area. Um, so two months ago, not long ago. If you want the exact date, it came out October 15th. So around a month into FIFA, if you got it early, uh, like three weeks if you didn't get it early. So at the, it's like a decent card at that point in the game. But like, again, we're only two months later. And this card, the original requirements for this card were three SBCs were, instead of one. It was three SBCs. Again, it cost around 250,000 coins in total. Three SBCs. One of them was requiring a, a team of the week player, 85 team overall, 70 chemistry, which was the Germany SBC. There was an MLS uh, part of the SBC, which just required an 85 team, 65 chemistry, one MLS player. And then there was a Bundesliga part, which required two Bundesliga, one team of the week, and 85 team overall. So... This required 285 squads with two team of the weeks, as well as an 85 rated squad with no team of the weeks. So again, that costs around 250,000 coins. Now we're literally like barely like, we're like two months later. And this SBC requires 184 rated team. So if I was someone who completed this uh, premium Bastion Swine SBC when it originally came out, I'd be pretty mad. They honestly chopped the price of this card very, like, like extremely low. Now, if I go on Footbin right now, as I said, 250k for the original one. Bastard Schweinsteiger on Footbin is coming in at 55,000 coins on PlayStation right now, as I'm recording this video. 200,000 coins cheaper than when he originally came out. So yeah, are honestly screwing people with these re-release SPCs. Now, re-release SPCs aren't the worst things in the world. Like, when they do it for footies, it's not bad at all. Because it's like, these SPCs have come out from sometime in the beginning to the middle of the game, and footies is like the very end. They're re-releasing SPCs just a couple months into the game. We're still in 2019 when this game came out in September, and it's still December 2019. And they're already re-releasing SPCs that people spent a lot of coins for. It's like very like not too long ago and they're already coming out with their cards half priced as Schweinsteiger is this man dropped from 250,000 coins to 50,000 coins so yeah I think EA are screwing people over with these SBCs um, the, again the P-Shack was a good price because it was around the same but like Schweinsteiger is literally a whole 200,000 coins cheaper so if you guys want that card go ahead and do it like I even did the Promez card because like why not like he's literally eighteen thousand coins if you have a team of the week in your club it costs you and 81 like I, I didn't have to buy a player for him and it's like a free pretty much a free 84 rated ones to watch so uh, and he has got four star five star. he's got good stats and he's might get another upgrade so go ahead and do him because there are also sbcs that require ones to watch players so you might as well do him so yeah i honestly just think they're screwing people over with these and i think as i said earlier these re-release SPCs are a good concept, but not at this point in the game. So let me know your thoughts. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about the re-release concept SPC, like at this point in the game specifically, like, like, uh, and also let me know if you think it's a good idea for like footies at the end of the year, but like at this point in the game, I just think it's too early to be re re-releasing cards that people spend a lot of coins on and just cutting their prices by a ton. Um, cause people are going to be mad about it. And I see a lot of people mad about the Schweinsteiger SBC on Twitter cause they got screwed over by the prices just by doing it the first time they could have waited a couple months and completed him if they like he's your favorite player for 200,000 coins cheaper so yeah let me know your thoughts on this topic in the uh in the comments down below uh drop a like if you guys enjoyed and if if you agree with me or or if you disagree with me just if you enjoyed this type of video um subscribe if you guys are new um i really appreciate that we've been growing very frequently like frequently that's not even the right word but we've been growing great recently i appreciate all the new subs um and yeah make sure you guys turn on notifications so you guys can earn yourself that shout out in my next video which will hopefully be soon um because if you keep dropping sbcs i will continue to make videos team of the year soon so that's good but yeah thank you guys for watching drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new make sure to turn on post notifications let me know in the comments your thoughts on the topic thank you guys for watching this video and peace